Hi everyone, it's Alan. Welcome to my channel. I wanted to make this video to introduce myself and also to answer some of the questions and comments around this ball cap makeup video. Thank you so much to everyone who's liked and commented and shared this film. I can't believe it's been watched by so many people. I first of all put it onto my Instagram, Alan Waterman, and then onto my YouTube channel, and it's been watched by millions of people. So thanks so much. I've been working as a makeup and hair artist in the film and television and photographic industry for the past 30 years. Some of the shows I've been lucky enough to work on have been Queer as Folk, Fat Friends, Footballers Wives, My Mad Fat Diary, and most recently, the Gavin and Stacey Christmas Special. I'm also the on-set makeup artist and hairstylist for Dame Joan Collins, and I've been doing this for about 15 years now, and it's the most amazing job. At the moment, I'm in my makeup studio in Birmingham, and here I see clients for weddings, parties, makeup lessons, and I also work here on the brilliant comedy Man Like Mo Bean with Guz Khan. And I was also part of the hair team for Ready Player One. Anyway, on to the ball cap, of course, and a little bit of details about where it was, who was involved and who the model was. I did the course back in August 2019 and the course was run by the most amazing makeup artist, Adrian Rigby. I'd followed Adrian's work for many years on Instagram and his work has included the films Harry Potter and the TV series Game of Thrones. He's the most amazing makeup artist. When I saw that he was running this ball cap course at the Ira Academy at Pinewood Studios, I really wanted to join in. The course was just one day and we also learnt hair wrapping from Andy Whiteoak. The model was one of the students called Megan. She's not Sophia the Robot. Her skin was not peeled off and she is still safely in one piece. I know it looks a little bit scary and a little bit freaky, but it is only makeup. Here's my kit and some of the products that I used to create the ball cap makeup look. First of all, you're going to want to start with clean skin. So I would tone the skin or use a product called Brisk, which would take off any surface oil or makeup. Dermashield is an ultimate skin protectant foam, which is great for anyone who has sensitive skin. This foam will create a barrier between the makeup and the skin and help with any sensitivity. Next, you're going to want to prep the hair. So if like my model Megan, they have very long hair, you're going to need a tangled teaser to make sure the hair is really smooth and a tail comb to section. The aim here is to create a smooth shape against the head and the best possible shape for your ball cap. You could flatten the hair using something like Super Sculpt from Paul Mitchell or Gaff Quat, which is a liquid hairspray, which is very sticky, and you would apply that with a tint brush. You may choose to soap down the hair, and this is a simple unperfumed soap, which you would soak overnight in water. And in the morning, you will find it's very gungy and you would apply with a tint brush to the sections of the hair, flattening it down and making sure you get the best shape possible underneath your ball cap. You'll need some bobby pins to secure the hair. Also a stocking cap or wig cap. These are from Bambi Postiche, a company I've been using for a really long time. They come in different colours and it's a stretchy cap. Obviously, you can match the cap to the skin tone, snip the top of the cap, and then you're going to be turning down the cap and securing this with weft clips. Again, these come in different colours and sizes, again from Bambi Postiche, and they make this click clack sound and they will help to secure the stocking cap and also the hair will wrap over the top of that and make sure you've got no lumps and bumps. Also under the cap, the white stuff that you saw was actually cotton wool. And we use this not only to sort of mask the colour of the model's hair, so if the hair was very dark, the cotton wool would help to cover that colour and prepare for colouring with the makeup and also create a really good shape. Another product you could use under the cap is crepe hair. This is obviously some grey and some auburn, but it comes in lots of different colours and you would flatten that out underneath the cap 
again to help with the colouring and also the shape of the cap. Hair dryer is very, very important for helping dry the adhesive and hair if you need to. The actual product I used for um, applying the cap was Prosade Medical Adhesive. And this is a white liquid adhesive which dries clear when it's applied to the skin. I use just a like household sponge or a car sponge cut up into little squares. You're going to have to throw this away, so don't use anything very expensive for applying the adhesive. Also, I'm not using my best makeup brushes for this type of makeup. I have a, a stippling brush, which is great for applying colour. Here's an angle shaped brush, which is used for um, applying the acetone, which helps melt the edges of the ball cap. Also, this is a bedellium tools for flicking the makeup on and also some other brushes which are great for applying the makeup. Now, onto the actual cap itself, which is sat here in the middle. It's a vinyl ball cap and I got this from Makeup Armoury and you can see it arrives like this. And if you look around the edge of the cap, you will find that there is a tiny little V there, if you can see that. And that is the centre of your cap. It's a very stretchy material. They come in different sizes and you can get them pre-coloured. They also make them in latex. You'll see there's a lot of spare cap at the back. And as I said, you'll be melting that away with the acetone. So be very careful when using acetone on the skin and especially around the eyes. There's two sides to the ball cap. You'll find this smooth side. This is the side that you're going to be colouring up. And inside there's a little bit of a talky feel to it. It's a little residue on my hands there. But there we go. That's the actual cap that I used for creating it and it's a vinyl ball cap. You can buy these from Makeup Armoury or from Tilt Makeup or Pam Makeup or Wigs Up North. Um, all very good makeup shops for um, buying these products and these are all in the UK. So there's my cap ready to be applied. You may want to make your own ball cap and this is what this red head is at the back. It's just a plastic, plastic shaped head and you can use a product called Super Baldies. This is a spray form, but you could also buy it in liquid. Paint on layers onto this and create your own ball cap. So at this point, you've put on the ball cap using your Prosade. You've melted the edges using the acetone at the back here. So onto the colouring of the ball cap. I use a product called Melpax. This is this one's Deep Mauve. And there's another one here, Olive 4, obviously come in lots and lots of different colours. You could mix your own um, Mel Packs using Prosade and coloured acrylic paint. But the Mel Packs is um, waterproof, smudge proof and can be thinned down. It's a really great product for creating the skin tones for the ball cap. I apply that using this orange stipple sponge, again using my palette there to mix up the colours the other makeups that I use to colour the ball cap and create the effects are the Skin Illustrator palettes. There are a few different types. I activate these with alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. This one's from Wigs Up North. This is a fair skin palette. You would spray the IPA into the palette and then use a brush or a stippling sponge uh, to colour the ball cap. These are custom made ones from Skin Illustrator. Um, Christian Mallet and Lois Burwell. I've used these a lot, so I won't open them up. They're a bit of a mess, but I can definitely buy these again because they're such good palettes created by professional makeup artists. There's a hair effects one, again, from Bluebird. If you are applying a wig to your artist, that's very good for maybe greying down or matching up hair colours. A character one here from Bluebird, which is lovely. Lots of good colours in there for veins and moles and things like that. And then a larger one from Skill Illustrator again, which is Blood Bruises, Burns and Illness, all in one palette. And there's some great primary colours in there. So they're really great palettes to have and kind of a staple in most professional makeup artist kits. Activated with isopropyl alcohol. Usually I put it into a little spray bottle and activate the paints there. These are my Lamac Pro palettes which are also great for using on the face and lots of different colours, lots of different sizes of palettes. You've got your primary colours and skin tones. And they are the um, palettes I'd use to create the face makeup and also to match up and blend with the ball cap um, so you're hiding all the edges. 
The actual reveal of the ball cap was me actually snipping carefully a tiny hole in the cap and splitting it down over Megan's head. But to finish the process of removal, I would use a Pro Clean Cleansing Oil, and that's great for removing all of the adhesive. Also, some hot flannels are great at the end of the day for your artists. And as a special treat, I would use a Joyce Connor Cosmetics Conjac Cleansing Sponge, which is lovely for cleaning the face. Also, wash, shampoo your actor's hair, actress's hair, to make sure that they're all comfortable and leave as they arrived in the makeup bus. Here's my model, Megan, ready to have the ball cap makeup applied. Megan's hair was sectioned and secured in a ponytail. The stocking cap top was applied using the weft clips and the ponytail band was then snipped and the long hair pushed inside the cap. We used a product called Opsite, which is a medical tape available at Amazon or medical supply stores. And this gave the best surface for the ball cap to be applied. Here you can see the hair wrap and the cotton wool to help make the best bald head shape possible. The cap is applied using the Prosade adhesive. As you can see, there's lots of spare cap around the head at this point. We stick the cap down and then dissolve the edges using the acetone. As you can see around the ear area, it's very important to get nice and flat so you don't get any lines or wrinkles. Here is the cap with the additional cap plastic taken away ready for colouring. As you can see, you can still see some of the hair through the cap and we use the Melpax paints to neutralise the colours and to start making the skin look realistic. We use lots of different tones and colours and I'd also be using my skin illustrators here. Here is the beauty makeup I applied to Megan after the ball cap was finished and here we are at the Ivor Academy all set up. Thank you to Megan for being such a brilliant model. It was the best day and uh, Megan has gone on to become a very successful makeup artist. And thanks again to the wonderful Adrian Rigby for such a brilliant course. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope that answered some of your questions around the ball cap rip video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you really soon. Bye. <laughs> Bye.